Hey, what's up, everybody? I got my QO load center here, uh, QO2L30S series, 30 amp sub panel. I just wanted to show you guys how I had it set up. Um, you know, it's the first time and it's, uh, me ever doing this and anywhere. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I did and why I did it. Uh, well, anyways, story is is over in the corner. I used to have uh, an old uh, electrical dryer receptacle on 30 amp wire um, however when I pulled uh, that apart because I was going to uh, put the sub panel over there in the corner uh, when I took the uh, the top off the receptacle I noticed that there was no ground wire uh, the ground wire is actually that uh, let me point out of here that ground wire is there so there was no ground wire in that receptacle um, I don't know why um, I just know that uh, there wasn't any so um, so I couldn't set up the sub panel over in over there in the corner to uh, get the wiring on my receptacles and my recess lighting started so I had to move the sub panel over here because the uh, main panel is right behind this drywall over on the outside so i thought if i moved it over here i would uh it'd be easier for me to fish you know some um ground wire into the uh, ground bar on the uh main panel and back over to the ground bar which is over here on the sub panel so I can get started but the issue I had too was that you know I, I was looking online and I noticed that um, you know or, or when I first purchased this sub panel there was no ground bar so you know I was looking online and a lot of people were saying well you can actually you know connect it to the neutral bar no you can't connect it to the neutral bar well you know, um, turns out that you can't connect it to the neutral bar over here. That's the neutral bar. So what I had to do was buy a separate kit for this sub panel here. And you buy that kit and basically you mount it to the back of the sub panel over here on the left side. That way you can run your ground wire from over from the main panel into this panel here um, so that's what I had to do so if anyone was just wondering you know how to do it this is how you do it a lot of times you'll purchase one of these panels here and they won't come with a a, a ground bar and you'll wonder why you'll be like what what do I do do I just put it in the neutral uh, do I just put it on the neutral bar no 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 just just look on the sub panel, look somewhere on the box, and it will say something such as uh, ground bar must be purchased separately, uh, um, you know, must be purchased separately. So make sure you look on there. Make sure you, before you leave wherever it is, Home Depot, Lowe's, your hardware store, that you get that separate ground bar kit if needed. Um, and then you just basically mount to the sub panel and um, then you'll be able to basically run the rest of your wires, you know, from the breaker um, down to your receptacles or lighting, you know. So if any if anyone was just wondering how it was done, that's well, that's how it's done. You got your ground bar over here, your neutral bar over here, where all your white wires go, and then. Um, that's pretty much it. So here's my 30 amp sub panel. I know you see 15, 20. Um, doesn't work that way. Well, at least <laughs> for me. Um, so um, if you have a hard time understanding this, you know I'm not the best explainer in the world, but uh, I hope you get the point and how I ran this. Um, and I hope it helps you out. All right, bye.